This video shows how to use Report Designer to create and share high-quality, real-time reports. Here, we're logged in as a user with several reporting roles. Users with any reporting role can create reports, but to create a meaningful report, you must have the right to access the data you want to report on. First, let's go to the Reports application. From the Reports list, we can see reports created by the logged in user, reports that are shared with specific groups or users, reports that are shared as global, and all reports that the logged in user can access. Let's click here to create a new report. You can use the Analytics Q&A feature to generate a report with just one search. For example, if we enter Incidents Grouped by Priority, we get a bar chart with the data we requested. This is a starting point. You can change the report name, type, and all the other details. We can also do this manually. Let's give our report a name. Be sure the name clearly identifies the report. Next, we'll select a source type. We can create a report from a data source or a table. Here's the difference. When you use a table, the person who's creating the reports needs to provide all the conditions for each report, even if some of the conditions are the same from one report to another. A report source defines a standard set of conditions for querying a particular table. Those conditions can be reused in other reports. Note that in the Report Designer, report sources are called data sources. We want to use predefined conditions, so we'll use a data source. We'll select the data source for open incidents. When you select a data source, the conditions are shown here. Report Designer shows the data that matches the query conditions in a platform list. Just so you know, you can jump to any part of Report Designer by selecting the tabs at the top, or you can navigate by selecting Back or Next. Here, under the Type tab, we'll select the format for our report. We can choose from bar charts, pie or donut charts, time series, multi-dimensional, scores, and lots more. Point to an icon to see more information about each type of chart. For our report, let's choose a simple bar chart. And here's our incident data. Easy! We can refine our report with the Group By feature. Let's group our data by priority. We'll select Run to refresh the report, and now the active incidents are grouped by priority. When we're happy with the way the data is displayed, we move on to the Style tab. Here we can customize the report's visual aspects, like size and colors. We can use one color for the entire chart, or several different colors. For our chart, let's use different colors to set the data apart. We'll choose the color palette and then refresh. Now our report looks great, so let's save it and it's ready to use and share. Here we choose how we want to share our report. Sharing with specific groups or users is often a good choice. We could also schedule a report to be run and shared via email, add a report to a dashboard, or export it to PDF. Remember, exporting to PDF just creates a snapshot of the current report. When you share a report, the people you share it with see the data in real time. That's it! Now you can use Report Designer to create and share reports. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.